Valley Congressman Raul Ruiz, along with California Congressman Adam Schiff, just introduced the Helping Educators Respond to Overdoses, or HERO Act. The legislation aims to save lives by expanding access to opioid overdose reversal drugs, including Narcan in schools and providing critical training for staff. I spoke in depth with Ruiz today about the HERO Act. Congressman Ruiz, tell us about this bill and why it's important. As an emergency medicine physician that is taking care of so many patients in the ER from fentanyl or opioid overdoses, and especially as a father with uh, two twins in school, I'm very, very concerned about the increasing fentanyl crisis. We have 30 times more fentanyl overdoses uh, in the past since 10 years ago. And in Riverside County, over 500 people have died from fentanyl overdose in the last year. As, and in Imperial County, it's been uh, 54. So uh, we're seeing a rise in youth uh, with opioid disorders. And so this bill that I introduced with Representative Adam Schiff, the HERO Act, would provide $200 million per year for five years to help create prevention programs at the school, as well as provide a Narcan and train educators on how to respond, identify and respond to opioid disorders and overdoses in the school to help save more lives. If Narcan is put into the schools, who would be the ones to administer it? And, you know, there are some people who are going to look at that and think this is basically enabling. No, no, not at all. There's been no, no proof that having Narcan available for the public to treat over, overdose deaths uh, would enable them to, to take overdoses, especially when in this bill, there they would the teachers the staff the principals the counselors would get training on how to use narcan and they would be the ones who would have access to the narcan as well as reporting that use to the agencies so that's going to be it very helpful in fact studies have shown that having uh narcan nearby and used uh, immediately after a or as soon as possible in an overdose patient will result in 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 saving that patient's life. Uh, and so that's why it is a life saving uh, medication and we use it in the emergency department all the time. What are the next steps for this bill and do you have the support? Uh, well, we definitely have a lot of local support, the local DA in Imperial County, the different law enforcement agencies, schools, districts, and associations, both local and national, as well as uh, the medical groups are all in support of this bill. And so we're approaching my Republican friends in Congress to make this bipartisan, other physicians who care about this issue, and uh, and really make a push for the different committees to have a hearing on this, and either as a standalone bill or included into a larger package to address the, the fentanyl crisis that we have in our country. All right, Congressman Ruiz, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.